Now we're going to show you how the Xbox One interacts with Windows Media Center. I have the Windows Media Center PC. I'm not using an extender in this case. I have the Windows Media Center PC connected directly to the Xbox One via HDMI and then the HDMI out to the TV. As you can see, I've got uh, Forza Motorsport 5 up here, but uh, we can use voice commands, which uh, work fairly well, but haven't seemed to be working quite as well while I'm also trying to talk into a microphone. Uh, so we can say Xbox, watch TV. And it goes straight into live TV from my media center. And I can use the commands that it's suggesting on the right. Like I can say Xbox, watch ESPN. Actually, that's a bad example because, oh, I thought we were on ESPN. Maybe not. Uh, I can say Xbox, watch NBC Sports. Xbox, watch NBC Sports. And it punches in the number, just like you would do on a remote control. You can very obviously see the Windows Media Center channel changing interface pop up there. Uh, and it works fairly well. We can go back to the Xbox's home screen and we still get the TV playing in the main window there while we go around to various things. We can go back to Forza, you know, or any game that you would want and then snap TV by using our voice. So I can just say Xbox snap TV. And now we've got TV playing in the snapped window. Now, if you're new to the Xbox One, one thing that's not immediately clear is uh, the controller is over in the TV window. How do I get it back over to Forza to play some Forza? Uh, pressing the guide button on the remote twice or on the controller twice will get you back to the other side. And now we can interact with the game while watching some TV. And that's pretty cool. Uh, I, I might use that occasionally, but uh, it probably depends on the game that you're playing. Uh, so if we want to get back to TV, we can hit the guide button twice again to get back over to this side. And we can use this to change channels. We can switch to Fox and you can see in the corner there, it's changing channels and that works pretty well. Uh, if we want to just focus on TV, we can put this back to full screen and that's great. But the difference, one of the big differences when it comes to TV with media center versus a cable box, keeping in mind that this interface from the, from the Xbox one is designed to work with cable boxes is that with a cable box, the TV is always plain. So let's say you're done watching TV. And as you're used to doing in Media Center, at least this is how we use Media Center around our house, you hit the stop button. I'm done now. Now maybe I wanna go back to playing Forza or something like that. I can say X Xbox go home. Xbox go home. Now I'm back to the home screen. And I can go back into Forza, which uh, there's that fast app switching. It took us straight in uh, and that's great. But now let's say I want to go back to seeing what's on ESPN. Let's use the voice for that. Xbox, watch ESPN. Brings it up. And because it was on the guide screen and all it's doing is entering in channel numbers and hitting enter, basically, it doesn't actually turn the TV on or, you know, actually watch TV for me. So that's a little bit of a problem and is going to require you to still use your remote control. Now, uh, and then obviously you're, you're going to need to use your remote control for anything else that Media Center would do. If you want to watch your recorded TV uh, or use 
you know, watch movies or music, any of that stuff is going to require you to use your remote control. Now, uh, there are some other cool things though. So let's get this back into live TV so that this will all work. And then let's say Xbox One Guide. And we get the rather nice Xbox One TV Guide. Now this is currently on favorites. I've gone in and manually selected some of these as my favorite channels, but we can also uh, just go over here and take a look at these various channels. Let's watch some hockey. And that's working great. Uh, now let's bring up the guide again. Xbox, one guide. And now I can say things like, Xbox, what's on ESPN? And it, well, it took me to ESPN too, but uh, close. And so it'll just take you straight to those channels. Uh, and uh, there's another view of the guide and we can just switch channels this way. So if you have it in live TV mode already, then it works pretty well and they're their guide is pretty nice. I'm not sure that it's better than Media Center's guide, but it's okay. And that's how Windows Media Center interacts with an Xbox One.